perhaps the LFL's deadliest offensive weapon, Mary Rose Roach, and the number two ranked Philadelphia Passion come into one of the LFL's rowdiest home arenas to battle Mario, the enforcer, Kendrick, and his scary Cleveland Crush team next on LFL Friday Night Football. Live from the Q Arena in downtown Cleveland, right next to Lake Erie, formerly the house of LeBron built, now all about their beloved Cleveland crush. Hi, everybody. I'm Tom Dore. Welcome to LFL Friday Night Football. Boy, do we have a matchup tonight, Sean. We sure do, Tommy. And if Cleveland is to have a shot tonight, the enforcer, Maria Kondrick, will need to punish this Philly defense. A bruising back that loves contact. Think Cleveland Browns running back, Peyton Hillis. On the Philly side of the ball, and I think they're the best team in football, the most dangerous offensive weapon in the LFL, Mary Rose Roach, has become the most potent with the addition of rookie running back Jenny Butler. Leaving defenses to pick their poison, Butler is a quick athletic playmaker that will be used both as a wide receiver and a running back, Tommy. And there you see the numbers, eight rushes for 60 yards. And Jenny Butler is a football player, offense and defense, she can get it done. Now here's a look at Eastern Conference standings. You see the preseason favorite Philly and Orlando sit atop with Tampa on their heels. This is obviously a must win for Cleveland, being 0-2 and, and a minus three point differential. Now the stage has been set. It's time to lace them up. Kickoffs coming up next. Welcome back to Cleveland. Crush Nation out in force, looking for a win against what is a terrific Philadelphia team. And here's Abby Sullivan, the quarterback and also the kicker. And a nice high end over end kick, taking about the seven, that's Roach. Mary Rose Roach with a cutback to the right side. And she's going to go down about the 18 or 19 yard line to Mar Fennell, among others, who was there. And Sean, the stage is set now. This is a big one. Huge football game. There's Christy Bell, the quarterback, running out. Tommy, there's your lineup. See them. And Mary Rose Roach may be, well, I think she's the best player in football. I don't think there's any question about it. So offensively and defensively, Roach has got it over everybody else. Keep an eye on this offensive line, too. And here is Roach. Makes a little stutter step. Brings it across the 25, out to about the 24-yard line. And Lauren LaBella, one of my favorite players. She does things. This is an offensive line, Sean, as you were mentioning, that Flat gets it done. They sure do. They will dominate you. LaBella Robertson and up front along with Heather Roy. And there's Christy Bell. She relies on those gals up front to protect her, as does Roach in the running game. Hand off again. No surprise. Here's Roach. Big opening. That offensive line does a terrific job, and Roach takes advantage of it. That's a first down for Philadelphia. Tommy, I, I watched this gal run, and you look at the numbers. Nine rushes this year for 103 yards and five touchdowns. You can give it to her every time, and probably nobody else touches the ball. you got a chance to, to score seven touchdowns just with her. Even if the defense knows it. And here it is again. Here's Roach. Makes a cut across the outside, and she gets down to about the five-yard line. Roach with a nice cut to the outside. Cleveland now starting to anticipate Roach is going to get it. And here's the Cleveland defense. Petrozello. And, and Fennell can flat cover in this game. They sure can. Petrozella, I think, is their best all-around football player for Cleveland on both sides of the ball, Tommy, as far as all-around understanding. Great football IQ by her. Yeah, absolutely. She catches the ball. Got sure great does. hands. Hand off, a little flip. That's Rose. Rose to the five, down about the two, falls forward to the one-yard line. Thomas, but she hits the hole. And here's their defense. Brown and Meredith with Latifah Moore in the middle. This is a strong up front, but they're going against maybe the best offensive line. They're going to have to be strong tonight because whenever she touches the ball, meaning Mary Rose Road, she's a, she's a threat to go the distance. Whether you're at the two-yard line or your own two-yard line, this is a special football player and hasn't slowed down since the day she started this league. And I'll bet you I know who's going to get the ball in this wildcat. Roach with it, goes to the right side, and that's just too easy, Sean. That's way too easy. A great touchdown, though, Shoot. and Roach is terrific. Shooting fish in a barrel. I've never done that before, Tommy, but it seems easy. It sounds <laughs> real easy, exactly. That And, folks, that'll be no surprise. In Cleveland, if you come into this game, your Cleveland preparation for this, your number one goal, and basically your only goal defensively is make sure number six doesn't dominate the game. But on the first series, we see she's already set to try and do that. She got the ball every time. And here she is on the two-point conversion. Another Wildcat. Is this the same play? It's the same setup. It is the same play. And again, Sean, it's too easy. It is too easy. Tommy, you made a point. Uh, she got it every time. Chandler Brown's a really smart head coach, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. 
nauseous. Well, he should be. Yeah, he's got it. He's got, he's got the weapons. This is a team that can win it all. I haven't seen a better team in, in the LFL this year than this Philadelphia team, and they were pretty dominant last year. Uh, this is important for Cleveland to match on this drive so it doesn't get out of hand. Andy Sullivan, pretty good numbers, 16 and 27, four touchdowns. She's not a great runner, but she can throw that football. And here she goes, hand off to the enforcer, Maria Kondrick. And Kondrick gets about five on that carry, and that's what she's going to do. Here's their offensive line. Uh, Sullivan is the quarterback and does a terrific job throwing that football. Fennell is dangerous. You've got to keep a track of where Tamar Fennell is. Remember, Kondrick's the only running back or only player in this league that has a 40 number above, any number above 20. Yep. Here's a handoff. Kondrick goes right up the middle. Oh, what a hit by Mary Rose Roach. That deserves another listen. She's wired up, and it's brought to you by Need for Speed, the run, rated team, in stores November 15th. Ouch. Judging from what I see, not very good. Not very good. Nice job jumping in there, and Kondrick will mix it up in there, Tommy. But got to give her the football if you got a chance to win. She's got to control the clock. And there is Maria Kondrick. Fake a handoff. Now looking long, looking deep, and the pass is overthrown and incomplete. That one wasn't close. No, not close. Thrown into double coverage. But, Tommy, I'm okay every now and then of taking your shots down the field to stretch out the defense. There's Petruzzello, who you were just talking about, along with uh, Lee. But Petruzzello is one of those that does so many things for this she team. She will get into the end zone in this game, I guarantee it, because they look for her when they get down to the red zone. And speaking of the number 40, why I said it, she must be good, Kondrick, yeah. because you're only supposed to go to the number 20, and she gets a 40 number. Life's good if you're Mario Kondrick. Second down and 10, give us to Kondrick. Kondrick goes along the left side, and she just fights forward, dragging people, and that's enough for a first down. Okay, she can have the number 40. <laughs> and here's the Philly defense, and wow. Roach and, and Butler and McCrary, that is a very talented group. Talk I, about depth, Tommy, on both wow. sides of the ball. Wow. They will mention Heather Roy's name, and Angela Perfetto's name, and Jaleesa McCrary's name, and Tyra Lusby's Tyra name. Lusby, and these yep. are supposedly not their superstars, Stars, yeah. but they're real good players. Condor getting a little helmet fix. And I would imagine play action looks good down here. If not, hand the ball to Condra. First down, first and 10 at the 15-yard line of Philadelphia. And there is the handoff to Condra. Comes around the left side. Gets down to about the 11. Oh, she got hit late. She got stood up and hit late and hit hard. And Condra kind of shaking her head as she gets up. Let's listen in with Wired Up. Brought to you by the Need for Speed. The run, rated team. Gets the exclusive trailer at the half. We'll take a break and come right back to Cleveland. Welcome back to Cleveland. Fans excited here. Cleveland marching down the field trying to answer that first Philadelphia score. There's Maria Kondrick, the enforcer for Cleveland. Keep an eye on Petrozella down here. And that's a false start, I believe, on Condry. Flag on the field. Prior to the snap, false start, number 40 offense, five yard penalty. You can't have those mistakes, Tommy, in the red zone. It brings you back out. And you, those are precious yards and precious points. And as a running back or a receiver, if you can't hear, watch the ball. Watch the ball. And when I said look for Petrozella down here, she lines up as the right tight end, the right tackle, basically. There's movement, and it's a pitch to Fennell. Comes around the left side looking for an opening, and there is nothing there. McCrary and others on that stop. They smelled that out very well, Sean. They sure did, and they do a great job of running to the football, and it's usually not just one body. It's three or four people, and they've got great secondary play and great east to west sideline to sideline play. And here, when you look at Cleveland, Tommy, the reason I mentioned Petrozella again down here is because they've run the ball so much it's really a good time. Petrozella to look like she's going to block and get down the field and possibly create an opportunity for a score. There is that offensive line. That's my little team more. Yep. Sullivan. Hand off. Kondrick. She just motors forward, gets inside the 10. Oh, and a late hit. Kondrick got in hard there after the play was over. Jaleesa McCrary again. And McCrary kind of letting her know. This is our defense. Yes. You're not playing against anybody else. You're playing Philly today. We are the Philadelphia Passion. This may be your house, but we intend to own it by the time we leave here from Cleveland. 
But Kondrick will keep bringing it. She'll keep bringing it. Fourth and two, and they've got to throw the football here, Sean. Well, and let's see if Philadelphia recognizes that and understands game situations. Recognizing knowing they got to throw, can they defend? And how can, how can Cleveland protect the passer on this? Because if it was me, I'd blitz. Big fourth down now. Cleveland needs not only a first down, but a touchdown. Sullivan, jump pass into the end zone. Touchdown, Petrozell right there. Great call, Sean. That's, what, that's how I know down here, Tommy. Tall and long. She got, she got a great reach, but she always catches the ball in her hands. We covered her earlier this year. Great job catching the football. Here's a play action. Nice job. Can't set your feet. Sometimes you can't. Abby Sullivan, that's one hell of a football play. And get it to your girl so she has a chance to make a catch. Under throw it or not, great job by Petrozella coming back. But when you can make that play on her, and they did blitz her. Typical Philadelphia like yeah. the Eagles yep. love to pressure. Yep. But great job by Abby Sullivan continuing to backpedal and throw the ball into the end zone. Now looking for a two-point conversion here. They like Kondrick going to the outside on this. And that is just where she's going. And do you think Philadelphia had the scouting report on that one, partner? And I hate Kondrick going to the outside. It cost them in a game a couple weeks ago. They ran outside, and Liz Gorman came up and made an unbelievable yep. hit at the goal yep. line on a two-point conversion to try and win the game. Well, to me, she's a tackle-to-tackle -tackle runner and played her her strengths, Tommy. And it seems like Philadelphia is a team that is going to get you if you go east and west. The only way to attack them is straight at Tommy, you attack speed with punishment, okay? You don't try to do with beat them at their game. You beat them at your game. Fake a hand off to Roach. Bell looking long down the field. Must be wide open. First down. She's got it down at the 10-yard line. Sean, she was wide open. The pass was underthrown. But still, that's the first down. That's a first down. You'll take the big play, especially being backed up in your own uh, in your own uh, red zone area. Tommy backed up in your own end of the field. Make a big play. If, if Christy just throws it three or four more yards out there, Lusby walks in the end zone. But I have a hunch they're going to have plenty of chances in this game. <laughs> Handoff goes to Rhodes, cuts around the right side, now cuts back. Look at her just break through tackles. Mary Rose Rhodes with a touchdown. Ladies and gentlemen, fix your 40, 40 inch screen uh, flat screen. This is a really good Xbox game you're watching with, with Mary Rose Rhodes. Tommy, just a little gut play, called a gut play, and then she does a great job. Put her foot in the ground and cut back. Her vision is so good. I feel like I'm watching an NFL running back when I see her vision. Powerful lower body, gets into the end zone. She doesn't even do a whole lot of talking, Tommy. All she does is score touchdowns. Gain yards and score touchdowns, yep. Wildcat again, Roach, see if she goes to the right. Yep, here she comes around the right side. Sean, we said this before, you know what's coming. Can't stop it. You, LaBella, Robertson, and Roy up and front. Roy, Give yep. that, you, you got three people up there that you could stick in the all-fantasy game because they dominate the line of scrimmage. When big runs happen, Tommy, it's not just the running back who makes it happen. Gotta have great stuff up front. We might well call that the wild passion formation. How's that? <laughs> you go with that. All right, first down now. Cleveland again looking to answer that Philadelphia touchdown. Motion. And here's Kondrick. Kondrick just pulls forward for about four or five yards. Yeah, if you're going to get hit and still fall forward for five yards, it's a, we know what Philadelphia wants to do on their side of the ball. And with this Peyton Hillis type runner, number 40 in the backfield, Maria Kondrick, you keep giving her the football. And what that does, Tommy, the defense will start to squeeze and squeeze, and you'll get Petrozella or Shannon Anderson for a tight touchdown again. Second down, let's call it second and five. Coming up on six and a half left here in the first half. And here's Kondrick again, and Kondrick's going to get another three yards. And now they've got to throw the football, partner. That's the only problem here after that play. Yeah, if you're going to run it two times in a row, you better darn well run it successfully and get yourself a first down. Or have a quarterback and an offense that's efficient enough in the passing game. I still don't see enough teams in this league run a bubble screen, run a, run a, run a center screen, Tommy. I've talked about that. You're a roll runway, have your tight end block and go out the other way, a throwback screen to the tight end, high percentage play. A little pitch play, something like Shovel that. Shovel pass, yep. Shovel pass, good call, good call. Sullivan's gonna fade back, got a little pressure, steps up and overthrows her intended receiver looking for Lee. And that pass, she just missed her. Lee was wide open. Jamar Lee right there, standing in the middle of the field. She catches it, she's still running. Those are the things. Now, Abby Sullivan's a great leader, Tommy. Yeah. She yep. loves to play, and the team respects her. But those are the ones. She'll make some really good throws. You saw the touchdown play to Petrozello. You can't miss those open ones because that's the difference in moving. The, and against this team, when you get a four-yard cushion on a throw like that, you must complete it because you don't get many chances like that. Fourth down, big fourth down. Now you've got to answer because Philly will score points in bunches. 
Pitch to Fennell. She comes around the left side and gets hit hard. Lisa McCrary, among others, right there on the stop. And Philadelphia home. What a great football play, Tommy. Great football play. Tried that shovel pass, didn't work. McCrary read it perfectly. We're coming back. Philadelphia 16-6. in control, partner, and they get the football back. This is a dangerous time for Cleveland. I bet you're going to get a heavy dose of Mary Rose Roach. And there, oh, a fake to Roach. Nice. Now Bell looking deep, and it is knocked away. Nice defensive play by Tamar Fennell. She's all over the field, Sean. Now that is one heck of a job by Fennell, not getting fooled by the play action, because any normal human being watching Mary Rose, of I course did, she did, yeah. so, so did I. So no, just give it to her, everybody jumps it. Great job by Fennell doing what she's supposed to do in man coverage, not peek into the backfield. You eyeball your receiver, the person you're covering. Wonderful job by a future star in this league. Second down and 10. Handoff goes to Roach. Roach cuts along the left side. Look out, here she goes, one to beat. And that was beat. Touchdown, Mary Rose Roach takes it to the house again. It's Groundhog Day. All over oh, again. Just constantly. Did they, it just come they, out again? Uh, unre hey, the clock shows at the same time. This is Mary Rose Roach. Nice job of the gut play again with a little cutback. Look at her vision, Tommy. Never staring at the ground. And she, great runners, see the next hole. Not just the one they're running through. They see the next hole with anticipation. And Roach does that. The best I've seen in this league since we've been covering this. Special play. Another touchdown. Great job by Robertson, LaBella, and Roy up front and receivers blocking downfield. And the Wildcat again. Here she comes around the right side. And there's nothing there. Uh, and, 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 you know, you want to say Clark Cleveland makes something happen, but great job of sealing it off. It's yeah, that offense. They're, they're just yeah. basically Rose is just pointing to the, to, to the spot and running there. I was on a team like that, student body right with Marcus Allen. We, just, we told you we were running student body right. You still couldn't stop it. And good luck to you, Stop. Yeah, right. have fun. All right, 24 to 6 Cleveland. now. Yep, four minutes left. Handoff goes to Kondrick. Kondrick, nice cut up the field, and she's going to get about four, four and a half yards on the play. There's nothing wrong with four yards, Sean. Anytime you're getting four plus yards, you're winning on first down. And you know how I feel about first down, right. how important it is. Tommy, one thing Mario's got to understand now. She's got to get a little bend now. She started, when you get tired, what do you start to do? You start to stand, stand straight up. up. Yep. And I understand that. Oh, there she goes. She's running off the field now. Going to get a break. If you got to have a few plays break, fine. But make sure you're getting down and using that lower body strength because they will come up from the se secondary and knock the hell out of you in this game. Sullivan with Fennell behind her. Now backs up. Looking. Oh, she's got all day. Now looking down the field. And it is caught. Touchdown. Hello. Petrozella there again. Unbelievable job by Abby Sullivan to buy time. And Tommy, you know, this is textbook. Watch how you teach this. You teach a quarterback, stay in the pocket. Now, she doesn't creep towards the line of scrimmage. Look at her, buy time, keep your eyes down the field. Not a way to stay poised, Abby Sullivan. Put enough air on it so your girl has a chance. She trusts Petra's down. Now, watch this. Highest point jumps up and gets it with her hands. If she lets that ball get into her body, that ball is knocked away by Heather Roy. Spectacular play by Petrozella, as we said. As long as they're going to stay in it, Kondrick and Petrozella have to make an impact. Two touchdowns already in the first half for Petrozella. Let's see if they can complete this with the conversion. And that's a nice touchdown for them to cut it 24 Great job. Great job. Let's see if they can make it 24-14 uh, to now. Handoff. Kondrick tries to go up the middle. Oh, this Philadelphia front. See how tall she's so playing, Tommy? Yeah. She's just got to start to bend. Use that power, Maria. Use that power. But you start to see Latifa Moore down a little bit. Hopefully, she'll get up the center for Cleveland. But a great job of penetration by Philadelphia. And now here, Philadelphia gets it right back. And we got a Looked like offsides on the defense, Tommy. I thought I saw offsides on the defense. A little movement there. Three, five yards. Let's see what the official says. Prior to the snap, offside, defense number 14, five yard penalty, first down. Crowd didn't like it, but you called it, yeah. Just saw a little flinch, a little movement, a little quick snap. Right here. Now keep an eye on the gals up front, Robertson, LaBella, and Roy, how they dominate this line of scrimmage. Bell rolls back. She's got some pressure. And she is oh. going down a hard sack. Aisha Brown with a great sack. On a heck of a backside blitz. We'll take a break. Philadelphia with a football when we come back. 
Back here in Cleveland, there's Mayor Fred Jackson. He's here. No, LeBron's not in this city anymore. <laughs> Second down and 11. High snap, little pitch ahead. Roach gets it, comes around the left side. Look at her accelerate up the field. Wow. John, what else do you say? Wow. There's, wow. Yeah. Twice. Tom, it's, it's frightening how good she is. I don't, I have yet since we've been covering this league, seen anybody stop that. No. She'll, she'll, if you give her the ball 20 times a game, like what Cleveland needs to do with Kondrick on the other right, side, right. you got, I, I don't know if anybody can beat him. Lingerie Bowl last year, she was hurt. If she wasn't hurt, they beat Los Oh, Angeles. no doubt. First down. Motion goes to the far side. Handoff again. Roach dances around, finds the opening on the right side, gets past three defenders, gets inside the 15-yard line. And you saying she could beat L.A. last year, they would have won is saying something because yeah. that's a dominant team out oh, on the LA West Coast. Was terrific. Yeah. But there you see now the clock's running. You're up by 12 points. Plenty of time here. You'd like to get in the end zone and get in a scoring position without giving Cleveland another shot yeah. and, and keep this momentum going in your favor and extend the lead because you never know. When you let a team that really isn't as good as you and Cleveland isn't as good as Philly, hang around, Tommy. We've seen this, this picture before where you got a chance to win, but right now Philadelphia dominates with Rose. Second and a couple. Bell fades back, rolls around to the left side, throws it. Oh, my, that baby was almost intercepted. It's okay to throw it out of bounds once in a while, Tommy. Now, an interception right there gives Cleveland momentum, start the run back, gives them a chance to, to get it closer. Oh, all of a sudden, I mean, you've got Roach in your backfield. You don't need to force balls into cover. We've seen Christy Bell. He's a good football player, solid. Just got to limit those the, the inconsistent mistakes at times. But I think she's a good leader for this team. Third and three. I wonder where it's going. There it is. Mary Rose Roach cuts around the left side. Roach with a first down. She's inside the 10. Down to about the eight-yard line. That's Jordan first and goal with the clock running. And now you got a timeout, Philadelphia. You can use it. Use this timeout or kill the ball. I don't know why they're doing this. Tommy, they got to get a timeout. Chandler Brown will call one here. And he did. 23 seconds left now. Here comes Philly out of the huddle. First and eight. This is a critical situation for Cleveland. They've got to have, have a stop. stop. No question. Yo me a coat. There you go. <laughs> First and eight, thrown in the end zone. Oh, Fennell, another great play. How good is she? She is going to get, as she gets older and older, 27 years old, more experience, she's going to be terrific. Well, she's made two great plays when they could have been touchdowns in the end zone. Awesome job by Fennell to take away big plays, and Kristen Bell would love that little lob pass oh, in the back yeah. of the end zone. A little higher, right? She'll get a chance to make that throw. Second down and eight now, 13.9 seconds left. Bell looks into the end zone. Oh, my. Threw that in the severe coverage, partner. Uh, three jerseys in orange and one in white, not a good idea. You don't have to take those shots when you got number six on your team. And Tommy, one thing I don't see Philadelphia do enough of is the screen game with Roach. Use her not as an extension of the run game, throw the ball to her, high percentage, and her in space. Wow. Right. Oh, yeah. Can't make tackles against her in the open field. That's uh, it's a game breaker. All right, fourth down and eight. This is a big play now. Philadelphia looking for it. Cleveland needs the stop. Bell fades back. Now it's a late handoff, and something was confusing there. Roach is stopped, and Cleveland gets a stop. Looked like they were doing a delayed draw or something, Tommy. The old with the wraparound draw. And great job by Cleveland because what they did, Tommy, they got into the backfield and didn't let Mary Rose Roach have that distance to get going with 4.7 seconds. Uh, if you're right? Cleveland, Tommy, kneel down on it. <laughs> Copy. Sullivan rolls out to the side and that's what it, was that a throw or a fumble? No, she got her on incomplete okay, path. Incomplete that's path. why I say kneel down on it because the turnover there is detrimental to your football team. All right, 24 well, to 12, buddy. 24 to 12 is our score. We'll take a timeout. Go inside the Cleveland locker room when we come back on LML Friday Night Football. She was saying that we got to give the ball to Maria Kondrick. <laughs> yeah, oh, hello. 
First half, great job by Condrick. What a hit by Roach getting up in her face. But nice response after the first touchdown by Philly to Petrozella in the end zone. And then what does Philly do? Gives it to their great football player. Like I said earlier, it's like Groundhog Day watching her run into the end zone. It happens all the time. Roach again busted it outside, getting up the field. And if you get her in space, can't tackle her with one arm. Philadelphia jumps in again for the touchdown. And this is a great play by Abby Sullivan to get the ball deep and give your best receiver a chance. Petrozella gets it inside highest point for the touchdown and a little Lambeau leap in Cleveland to get the score closer. And there we look at the stats. It's 24 to 12. Take a look there. Pretty even. You wouldn't look at the score with the stats, but when the time of possession, Cleveland leads it. But it just shows me that Philly's scoring quicker. We'll be right back. This is Friday Night Football. Welcome back to Cleveland. The ball on the tee. Heather Roy ready to kick it off for Philly. Cleveland needs a little spark here. I like that kick low, but nice job of Petrozella handling it, Tommy. Here she comes around the left side. She's got a lot of room. She's to the 10, to the 5, and they are going to mark her out of bounds at the 1-yard line. Ooh. Cleveland knocking on the door. Let's see that. I want to see a replay. Did she get in or did she not? Because against Philadelphia's defense, they're a good turnover, a force and turnover team. If she got in, great momentum switch, and we got a couple of great blocks Oh, on the terrific. live version, let's see on the replay if it really looks a nice job. And here's the hands, Tommy. Petrozella always seems to be around the ball, doesn't she? Gets in multiple times she's been in the end zone this year. This is going for her third in this game. Great job there on the key block. Go on the wall, get her outside. Now let's see, this is a better angle. Yeah, got her out at the one yard line. So now it's important for Cleveland to capitalize. Now Kondrick is not in, which is your big bruising back. They got Fennell back there. Now, I don't get that, but they find out what's going on there. Fumble on the snap, is loose, and Philly gets it! Oh, what a killer! What a momentum switch. You think they're in the end zone on a special teams touchdown. Now, there's no picks for Abby Sullivan, but the quarterback and center got to be on the same page. Got to ride your center because she's got a lot to do down there on the goal line. You can't pull away too soon. We saw Philip Rivers do that, Tommy. We saw Philip Rivers do it on Monday Night Football last week. You can't do that if you're the quarterback and center exchange. Bell just two of seven, and Cleveland's too close. There's a penalty marker, and Roach comes across the left side out to the five-yard line, but this will be a five-yard penalty on Cleveland offside. What, should be re uh, replay first down with the first and five here, Tom? Yeah, absolutely, that's it. And that's what it is, it's first and five now. It says first and ten, it's actually first down and five yards to go after that penalty. Oh, Looking long, looking, and it is tipped away again. Tamar Fennell has her third deflection of the game. Somebody's teaching Tamar Fennell great technique. Maybe it's our man Bobby Golick, who, who played in the NFL for a long time for the Cleveland Browns, but he was a nose tackle. But if he's teaching a great technique, then he's called Frank Minifield or Hanford Dixon, huh, Tommy? <laughs> yeah. Great job, Fennell. What a special play. She understands man principles, Tommy. She understands she's watching her person and covering her person. And then she's got great ball skills. Nice job. Star. That's a star there. Second down and 10. Handoff goes to Roach. She's got a big opening. Roach gets it out near midfield. Fennell with the stop. What a job by that offensive line. We give Roach a lot of credit. All she's got to do is run through the hole, partner. Robertson, the center, LaBella, and Roy up front. Tom, they just, they just move people. They move them because you can't get as good as Mary Rose Roach is. If you're not dominating the line of scrimmage like Lauren and the girls are, you don't have a shot. First down. Bell fades back. Looking long throws, and it is knocked away. Abby Sullivan this time, the quarterback for Cleveland. Also a corner is out there and knocks that one down. And Christie just missed it again, under throw. And she's, got, she's throwing it to the right person on some of this. She's just not quite getting the distance on it. But Tommy Cleveland's secondary drives on the football as good as any we've seen. Second down and 10. Handoff goes to Roach on a little bit of a delay. She just follows those blockers. 15, 10, 5. What a great job by Roach. Watch Lauren LaBella pull from her left guard spot and get two blocks, Tommy. Watch this. We got Roach here. Gosh, I wish we could see. There's a one kick out. See LaBella? Now go get somebody else. Another great job. Free and Roach in the secondary. Lauren LaBella comes from her left guard spot, kicks out, and then gets downfield and gets a second person to give Roach a free path to the end zone, and then the rest is done by number six. Wild pass two and... Oh, great job. We just got done bragging about
about the offensive line and what's Lauren LaBella doing? Fire he blocks two people. Yep. Ball star number 20, Philadelphia. Five activities will replay the slot. I think they're entitled once in a while, Tommy, as oh, dominant as, as they, they are. are. Yep. If you're Mary Rose Roach, you come up and say, after, after this game, I'm out. It's on me. Yeah, I'm lying. Yep. Bell fades back, looks in the end zone, and that's way overthrown and incomplete. Yeah, it was intended for, what was that Stephanie? Uh, Anderson, I believe, yeah. So first and ten now, Cleveland, and partner Cleveland needs an answer right now. Uh, if not, you're in danger of being run out of your own gym. Yep. Handoff. Kondrick along the left side, and Kondrick maybe got a yard, and that's about it. Kondrick came along that left side, and Philadelphia obviously keying on her. We'll take a timeout. 12-14 left, second half, 30-12 to Philly. Welcome back to Cleveland. Cleveland in a bit of a hole, second and nine, 11.52 left. It's 30-12, to Philly with the lead. Sullivan gets motion. Now it's a pitch to the right side, Anderson with it. And she'll get out to about the 19 or 20 yard line and a horde of people there get on the stop. Nice job, great job by, by Philly. Two things, Chandler Brown has done a great job of dialing up this team oh, yeah. and I understand playing yeah. to their strengths for Philadelphia. And the other side of it, Tommy, they've got the easiest schedule in the league. They play one game a month, they face two expansion teams and they're the best team in football anyway. Oh. LA might have an argument. <laughs> yeah, third and five. She'll fade back, looking, looking, avoids one. Now throws in and is caught. First down inside the 15. Petrozello there one more time. Unreal. Petrozello, talk about possession receiver, gets open. And we say possession, yet she still gets by you deep. So she's a great route runner, precision. And when the ball's thrown near her, she catches it. She has a, become a great weapon and is really one of the, the better players at that position in this league. And Tommy, when I say Philadelphia's best, maybe we'll just limit it to the East right now because LA. Back-to-back -back champions you, has and, something and, to say. You gotta talk Don't to count out Orlando. You got to yep. talk about Seattle out yep. west, Orlando, Tampa. Yep. Sullivan looking, little flip. Petrozello right there inside the ten at about the nine-yard line. What a great little flare pass to be able to find somebody like that when you're in trouble. Big target, Paul. Yep. You're in yep. that little bootleg. Get out on the edge. So you change change the aiming point. What I mean by that, when a quarterback drops back and he's in the same spot every time, defenses know how to rush him. So you change the aiming point. Little bootleg and get it to Petrozello. She's got that Cleveland name, doesn't she, Tommy? Yeah. This yeah. good football, hardcore Cleveland blue-collar name. I love it. Now Kondrick is out again. Fennell is the back. Almost fumbled the snap. Sullivan around the right side. Fumble caused by Root. And Philly's got it. Look out. Here's the return. Out across the 15. And Philly right there again causing turnovers. You know Parker. what, Tommy? It's, it's bad. too bad. You're right. You made a great point. Abby Sullivan almost dropped it at the snap. Now watch this. Ride that, ride that center. Can't separate your hands. Got to keep them together so they're so they're there and the ball doesn't slide through. Then does a great job of awareness of getting up the field and then gets stripped by what was it? Roach that made the strip, yep, Tommy. Roach did. Roach or somebody else. Uh, another hand got in there, but regardless, they had a lot of white jerseys around the ball. And Shanae and Thomas Shanae, with the return. Yeah, and Philly just, is just rolling now. Really, really good football team on both sides. And opportunistic when the ball's on the ground. Cleveland's turning it over too much, Tommy. Leaving it on the ground, turning the football over too much, puts you in a bad bind. And now all Christy Bell has to do is be wise and not give the ball to the other team. And that girl standing next to her right there, number six, just leaned her and said, hey, uh, you know, if you want to keep winning, just yeah. hand it to me. Yep. <laughs> we'll make this easy. Watch Roy Robertson and LaBella up front. They are dominant. Make a handoff. Now looking deep, and it is caught inside the 15, down to about the 13-yard line. That baby was a, a kind of a, a floater, but Lusby right there on the catch, and Philly first down. I like that, Tyra Lusby coming back to the ball. Now, Tommy, we call that a back shoulder throw. Now, if she intended to underthrow it, great job. We've seen Cleveland play great in the secondary, but if they're overplaying it, underthrow it, have you seen to come back and get it? First down. Bell looking throw again, and it is overthrown. Looking for Karanich there. And that pass overthrown just a bit. She was wide open, Sean. Yeah, ball hit her in the hands, but a little high. Try to pull it in. Combination, you want to hit her in that jersey or right there in the one and six on her front part of her jersey. If not, get it somewhere where she can get two hands on it and turn it up the field. 
Christy's not having her best game because we've seen her play better oh, than yeah. yep. She's got to protect the football. Second and ten, handoff Roach. Wide open right up the middle. Roach comes around the right side. Still dancing, gets hit hard. And she got knocked out of bounds at about the two-yard line. Have you seen anything like her? No. no. Walter Payton. Yeah, I keep Walter. saying this. Walter Payton is the only player I can, I can compare. Look at that. Vision. Okay, cut. Put your foot in the ground. Vision still. Now get outside. Stiff arm. And watch Go this. Attack. I'm not going out of bounds. Bam! A little punishment. Good job of hitting by Cleveland. But great running backs do one thing. And that was Aisha Brown coming up and putting it on her. But I'm going to tell you what great running backs, Tommy, you know what they do? They don't. They not only can beat you on the perimeter, but they can all, they'll hit you. They punish oh, yeah. you oh, yeah. when they're running the football. And that's why I say Walter Explosive. Payton. Because Payton was such a great oh. blocker. Payton would do everything for a very terrible Bears team. You can give me all you want. Jim Brown was right. that there, too. But for my money, as far as all around complete, Walter Payton's as good as there ever was. Yeah. God rest his soul. One of the great people. Third and one. Wildcat goes to Roach, and she is in for yet another Philly touchdown. Well, the MVP talk in this league starts here. And ends here. I, I think you're right, Tommy. It starts here. There are some other names that need mention. Right, Defense, right. Liz there Gorman. Great players. We, 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 I mean, some really, really good players in this league. You go out west to Ashley Salerno. Now, I'm going to tell you what. Nobody's more important to their team than this gal right here. And nobody's better. Rush. On I, both I sides of the ball. I would agree. But she is one heck of a defensive player. Yeah, she's in the wild passion again. I bet you she's carrying it. <laughs> or the wild roach. Maybe we ought to call the wild roach. Here I she like comes around better. the right side. Two-point conversion is good. The wild <laughs> roach is a lot better. <laughs> now, there's some crazy dudes out there that they say, hey, dude, I'm into that. Exactly. <laughs> wow. Uh, I mean, what do you say, Sean? You don't, don't say anything. So you don't say anything. If you're a defensive player, you don't say anything either. You just try to hit her and keep her to the ground. Now Tamar Fennell in at running back. Kondrick is out, and Fennell's going to get it. Gets away from one, gets away from another. She's still moving forward. How about Tamar Fennell with about an eight-yard gain and make it second and two. Timeout in Cleveland. Kondrick is back in. Good change-up pitch with her and Fennell. You got the quickness oh, yeah. and then you got the power. Handoff goes to Kondrick. She's got a first down and more. Oh, and she's hit hard. That deserves another listen. She's wired up and it's brought to you by Need for Speed, the run, rated T, in stores November 15th. I think she said, I love you. She, <laughs> Thank you. I love you. Uh, hey, great job by you. I think that's what she was talking about. Wow. Gain of about physical. Five. Yep. Neither team's quick, and they're still playing like crazy. That's a first down. Here comes Sullivan. Fades back. Got all kinds of time. Now Jenna Robertson comes up. Got her on the grasp, and down she goes at the 18-yard line. Apparently, Jenna can dominate the offensive side as a center and come back and make a play on the defensive side rushing the passer. That's a coverage sack, Tommy. When you hold the ball that long, that means the secondary is doing their job. Wow, loss of about six. And Cleveland in trouble. Handoff goes to Fennell, and look at her fly up the field. Wow, is she quick. She is into Philly, ter Philly territory. Tamar Fennell, what an addition to this team. No question, and Tommy, great job by Angela Buffetto making the tackle. You'll hear her name as we roll along. The next test for the big, really the biggest test that they still have in Philly is Baltimore. We keep giving all the praise to the offense for Philly, and we should, but when you got a tackler and a body like that on, on Buffetto who will hit you and can run, you got yourself, they're building a great defense on Philly, too. And Angela makes a great stop on a really good player in the open field in Fennell. Third down now, third and five. And let's see if Cleveland tries to throw it here. Sullivan will fade back, naked backfield again. Looking down the field, and this one's intercepted. Picked off by Roach, 15-20. Look at her dance around, avoiding defenders. She just continues to move forward. Oh, what a cutback. She's got one to beat. She can't quite get away. And she's down at the 17-yard line. It's Abby Sullivan with a stop eventually. 
Tommy, it's almost like she's too good for the league. <laughs> I mean, she's really that good. Now, look, Abby, protect the football. Just a little too much there. She did not see Rose, Mary Rose Roach. Now, watch her friends come and help her. Again, there's Angela Perfetto coming. Look at her. Get a key block to spring her in the open field. Everybody getting in on the action, trying to make something happen. And then her little block in the back. Who saw that? And then Mary Rose Roach finishes with unbelievable effort. Nice job by Abby Sullivan after the pick to at least come and make a play as she's used to making a defensive backfield position. Bob Bullock, there he's in. Hanford Dixon. I played against both those guys in the playoffs. A long time ago when the old dog got on the Alley Municipal. Hanford was really good and Bob was really good too, and I felt it. <laughs> 450 left. Now Bell. Pump fakes one, steps up, throws in. It's a little high and incomplete. That's not he's on Bell. Looking for Stephanie or Orgy. And that pass was just overthrown. And well, Tommy, I, I, I'm going to take that. Gonna take quarter, the other side. The next quarter. That ball hit her in the hands. Yep. And we always say you hit her in a bad spot. Right in the hands. hands. Yeah. But if you get two hands on the football, got to catch it. So I'm not playing the stats. It's going to look like an incompletion for Bell. That's a drop pass. Okay. All right. 4.45 left. Second down. Second and 10. Bell fakes the handoff. Steps up. Throws in. It is caught. Touchdown right up the middle. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Tyra Lusby right there. Now that's what Christy Bell has under the hood, Tommy. She's got that under the hood. Great job. And when you've got that backfield, she gets the protection. Just a great job. A little post route right down the middle. Hits Tyra Lusby for the touchdown. Throws it on a line and with accuracy. You see Mary Rose Roach back in the middle. It's the wild, wild roach. roach. There you go. Where, which side do you think she's going to? Oh, she goes to the other side, goes to the left side, and almost stopped. I think she got in. We're waiting for the official side. What heck of a tackle. She I is she in. Did. Oh, she, they gave it to her? I believe they That's gave it to her. That's a great tackle yep. in the open field. But finally, they've run right about 4,000 times tonight. <laughs> so finally, Roach out of the wild. Roach runs left. But you see it open there. She had one person to beat. She does get in. Cleveland's got the ball back. Abby Sullivan looks over, sees Fennell behind her. Handoff goes to Fennell. She dances up the field, across the 20, out to the 21-yard line. Like you said, this is a great relief pitcher for the two running backs. No question, but Tommy, at 428 to go, we know what Fennell and Condra bring, and I'm big on giving the ball to these girls. But you're down 46 to 12, throw it every down. Get in the gun. Empty the backfield, throw it every down, and try to make some plays. You, you're not, we're not in, we, we got to be in a more urgent situation here if you're Cleveland. There's that screen. Yeah, screen pass, about. yep, and it's good for a first down across the 25, out to about the 23 yard line, and they're trying to hurry a little bit. Finally here. got Shannon Anderson, Anderson involved in the passing game, number 13. Another really good route runner with good hands. First time we've been able to call her name in the wideout position. Get her the ball. Play fast now. Use it. Go. You're not going to win the football game, but start to build a little confidence for your team and see where your weapons are. Sullivan looking over the line. Gets some motion. No, no motion. Looked like she was going to get a little motion. Now it's a keeper. Comes around the left side. A oh, late throw. Latifa Moore. Ten. Five. Touchdown. That's the ultimate okie doke. How about that? Gee, I would have I left my coverage and come up and hit her, too. That's a little half shovel pass, half pass, half jump pass. A little bit of everything. Well, that half and half, that would make third. five right? halves right there. Right <laughs> there. Oh, hey, so what? So what? Let's give them all the love we can. Great job by Latifa Moore making a play from her center position. Abby Sullivan making it happen. Nice job. Playing a little hurry up. I thought she was running at the last second. Bam, gives a nice little pass. Going against her body, Tommy. Great recognition. No, great job. Great job. Puck Philadelphia by surprise as well. You and me, too. <laughs> Sullivan lost the foot, lost the snap again. Third time in the game, Tom. And when you watch it, as much as I, as a quarterback, I always felt like it's my job to get the ball down here. They got bodies right in front of them, so you got to ride the center along. Watch your left foot. Oh, we're not going to get to see the replay. No. But what she did, Tommy, is she starts to pull while the center's starting to drive. Too much separation, that's why the ball's on the ground. Got to fix that on practice, it's inexcusable. Looking for the onside kick, Abby Sullivan. Waiting for the official signal. And here it is, little bounce. And it got loose for a second, but I think Philly got it right at the very end. Sure did. I that think Jenna, Jenna Robertson. Robertson. Hey, she's been all over the place, hasn't she? Yep. Well, I, I, we, can, we can put a star on the helmets of the offensive line for Philly in this one. Uh, well, every game we put a star on Mary Rose Roach. 
defense doing a good job of creating opportunities and getting a couple goal line stops against the conversion and the one after right after half where they forced a fumble to start the second half. Bell, little play action, now throws over the middle and it's intercepted. Tamar Fennell has got it. She's been all over the field as well. Brings it out across the 15, out to about the 17 or 18 yard line. Tamar Fennell, great read, great hands. First down, Cleveland. Uh, an under throw, but great anticipation. This is what great corners do. Nice fake. Nice fake by Roach, and if you want to bite on it, but look at Fennell and man coverage again. A little bit of an under throw and a great job. Uh, all fantasy voters, I want you to do me a favor. Pencil number one in for Cleveland right now because she's as good a corner as I've seen in this league, period. She's special. Play. She's made four or five plays in the secondary, gets her first interception, broke up three passes. She's in on a tackle. Oh, by the way, she can carry the ball in the backfield. This is a superstar in this league. Pencil her in for an all-star game. Now Fennell on the run, comes across the right side, got hit right at the line of scrimmage and still gets three or four yards. Golly, is she a good football player. She does it all. Jenny Butler with the stop. Nice Butler is a newcomer this year that if you haven't had a chance to see her, Jenny Butler can flat play football. And, and oh, by the way, when Roach plays quarterback, Butler goes to the running back there without his loaders and gets out. Oh, yeah, are they ever. Great down. Okay. Now Tiffany Soggs in at quarterback. Soggs looking deep. What an arm. And is that intercepted? Wow, what a catch. Oh, my. What a catch by Mary Rose Roach at the one. Oh, Sean, that's terrific. Hey, does that surprise you who made the play? Wow. And, and folks, we just always talk about her on offense. She's just one of the better defensive players we have in this league. Now, I'm going to tell you what. I, Soggs has an arm. She got it. I want to tell you a story about her real quick, Tommy. A good one that you like. All right, Philly with it. Mary Rose Roach now in at quarterback. Roach looking long, and Mary Rose Roach has got an arm, too. Tommy, we got word. Christy Bell re-injured her. Remember the broken arm? Oh, the, the yeah. broken arm throwing hand. Should I say yep. throwing hand she injured last year? Well, Roach comes in at quarterback, and it's not exactly like you're losing much having Roach oh. quarterback. And so Roach Butler's is out. the running back? Yeah, there's a pretty deep backfield there for wow. us. Wow. Roach takes the handoff. Now she's looking long again. Look at her air this baby out. Oh, and it's good. caught inside the 20. Down yard line caught first down and more Whitney Peronish there with the catch uh, she can throw it the length of the field she can run better than anybody she tackles and catches better than anybody what a great throw and what a great play by Peronish to make the play Tommy and you tell you, you look at what Philadelphia does and why they're throwing people say why are you throwing you rubbing it in I've got, you got to understand point differential in this league folks you try to you score as many as you can because if it comes down to a tiebreaker We've seen teams miss the playoff because oh, yeah. of that point differential. That's why Philly's rubbing it in, or I think they're rubbing it in, pouring it on. Here they go, another pass, and it's caught Heather Roy touchdown. I tell you what, she played quarterback. Oh, you think? Wow. You think? Look at the tight spin on the football. Oh, that's your backup quarterback, by the way. <laughs> really? Really? Heather Roy coming from her right guard, tight end position. Nice job. Hey, how is that for rewarding your offensive line? Oh, They've yeah. been dominating all day long. Now you send Heather Roy into the route, catches it with her hands. That ball, did you hear the sound of it when it yeah, hit her hands? Yeah. Great throw. Nice and slap. Barry Rose Roach, folks, is going to deliver you some Gatorade. Has some gloves she can handle. Whatever you want, she can do. Wild Roach, here she comes around the right side. You talk about a Cadillac, the guy. That's what we always termed a great player, a Cadillac. She might be, Rolls -Royce instead Royce of a Cadillac, a Rolls Royce, our game MVP. We'll be right back. Philly can't do right now as opposed to what they can do because they can do everything. Yeah, Here's Fennell. Again, Fennell across the 20, out to the 21. You wanted to make a point yeah, about Tommy, Soggs I'm, I'm, on ago. I'm on Twitter and, you know, right. you follow Same, some yep. of the gals and they find, and Tiffany Soggs and I got into just a couple tweet, 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 tweet conversation. Yeah. And she was talking about the passion that the team has, she has. And I said, well, you guys are doing great things. You know what she says, Tommy? What? She, she tweets me back. And I try to, I try to answer all as many yep. tweets as I can they because say, I, the yeah, fans are great. Same, yep. but, but Tiffany, and she said, you know what? No, we haven't done anything yet. And I haven't done anything. And trying to say that we're still going to work on it in her game, and she's the back and forth of it. Her passion impressed me, and she went here playing as hard as she can. And I think that kind of epitomizes what Cleveland's all about, not only the city, but what the team's going to be about and what this young lady wants to do with her career. And there is a sack. It took a while to get her down. But finally the sack comes, and... 
you know, Philadelphia is terrific. They're terrific. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter who's rushing the pass or who's covering. They are so good and so, so deep. deep. And great leadership on both sides of the ball. Well, Angela on defense, Perfetto, Rose, Mary Rose Roach on offense. They're really Lauren LaBella loaded up. 41 seconds to go. It's 54 to 18. And Tommy. So I was impressed with Cleve. You know, that's why I bring up, even as a backup and as a girl who wants to play SOG, still has the passion for her team. I love it. Fake a handoff. Looking long. Soggs with the throw, and it is caught down inside the 10, down to about the 8-yard line. Nice pass, nice catch. Teresa Petrozello there again. And 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 if we're mentioned in all fantasy, can we start to throw number four's yeah, name in, too? She's got to be in the cat conversation. Now, great job by Soggs coming off the bench, not warm, taking her shots down the field and making a great throw. She can throw the ball. She sure can. She sure can. It's good for her. Nice job, nice throw. 19.6 seconds left. Try and get a little bit of momentum here. Cleveland is a high throw, and that one is just a little bit short. And then just a little too much air yeah. under that one. She's under some pressure. Of course, and when you're falling back, at least she gave her girl a chance, you know? And we've seen Abby do the same thing. Both quarterbacks have done a great job falling away. And, Tommy, when I'm, I train quarterbacks when I'm coaching them, you can't always set your feet. So you right. train them also, right. go through a drill that we're going to throw bad ball drills, bad, you know, bad where you can't set your feet. Handoff goes right at the middle. Finnell along the left side, right down to the goal line, and they say not quite in. Call timeout. There you go. Get some points. Seven seconds left. 54 to 18, and Cleveland wants that touchdown. Yeah, you know what? Bring in, bring in Condrick and load her up in the backfield. Okay. And Sogs nice now. Nice job. That's with smart. A, with a spike with 6.6 seconds left. Nice job by her. Now, I don't understand the spike from the gun, why you're not under center. But, hey, they've had trouble taking snaps under center, Abby Sullivan in the center. So maybe going from the gun's even better or, you know, spiking from that the could gun. could be. Now, okay, Fennell's going to stay in the game. Reward her for her defensive play. And now a stop. Philadelphia wants a timeout. And we got to explain this. This is all about point differential. Right. And what Chandler Brown, the head coach of Philly, is saying is, I want first place in the East no matter what. Yeah, Tampa, with Tampa and Orlando, Orlando you don't want right to have to there. mess with that. So this isn't about rubbing it in either way. It's about point differential and serious playoff business. Fourth and one. Pitch goes to Fennell, oh and did she get hammered? Goodness. Ball comes loose in the end zone. Crystal and Beach. touchdown. Me? They recovered it, but watch the hit, Tommy. I know the touchdown, great. Point differential closed a little bit for Philly, but I think their lead's going to be so big in the East, Tommy. They're staring right yeah, at home field yeah, advantage yeah. throughout. Schedule favors them. Baltimore's a good team. Obviously, Philly's better. That's a shame. If you fumble it forward, it's not your team on fourth down because it's they were trying. You Remember the it. NFL, the old Dave Casper? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Throw it forward when he did it in San now, Diego. Watch out. Watch out because Rose can throw this a long way. Fades back. Throws down the field. Guess who's wide oh, open? Tyra Lusby. 10-5. Touchdown, Philly. Are you kidding me? At the buzzer. And again, folks, this is not hard feelings between the coaches. You got to do what you got to do for point differential. Let's take a look at our drive of the game, brought to you by Need for Speed, the run, rated T. Whenever she touches the ball, meaning Mary Rose Road, she's a, she's a threat to go the distance. Whether you're at the two-yard line or your own two-yard line, this is a special football player and hasn't slowed down since the day she started in this league. And I'll bet you I know who's going to get the ball in this wildcat. Roach with it, goes to the right side, and that's just too easy, Sean. That's way too easy. A great touchdown, though, Shoot. and Roach is terrific. Shooting fish in a barrel. What a performance by Mary Rose Roach and the Philadelphia Packers. 300 yards of total offense unheard of in this league, and look at the time of possession. It's obvious that that's an overrated statistic. All right, that wraps it up. Big win for Philly here in Cleveland. We'll see you next week. Good night, everybody.